Now moving towards data type modifiers. Now there are four data type modifiers in C. First is signed, second is unsigned, third is short and fourth is long. Many people get confused that long is a data type in C but no it is a data type modifier in C. So now what are data type modifiers? A data type modifier is a keyword which is used when in front of a variable changes the base type of the variable and yields a new type. Now what does this mean is basically it changes the range of the variable. Now if the range of the variable is changed the size or the storage of the variable will also change. Now let's learn this data type modifiers one by one. The first data type modifier is signed. Now when you use signed in front of a variable, the range of the variable is from negative maximum limit through zero to some positive maximum limit. Now mostly the variable is of type integer or character. Now let's take an example. Here I have a signed variable. Let's say int signed int i is equal to 20. So here i has value 20 in it. Now i is of type integer. So the size of the integer is 4 bytes. And what is the range of the integer is from minus 2 raised to 31 to 2 raised to 31 minus 1. Because 31, why we took here 31 is 4 bytes. So 4 bytes will be totally equals to 8 into 4, 32 bits. And bits starts from 0. So 0 to 31 are the bits. And it will have range from negative 2 raised to 31 to 2 raised to 31 minus 1. Minus 1 is because of 0. The signed keyword does not change the size of the variable. As we see here, the size of the integer remains 4 bytes. Now, when we use sign in front of a variable, it is optional because even if we don't write sign, by default, the variable or let's say an integer is signed, which means it has a range from negative through zero to positive. So even if we write int a number is equal to let's say 10, so the maximum value of the, that number variable is 2 raised to 31 minus 1 and the minimum value will be minus 2 raised to 31 if the size of the integer is 4 bytes. Now moving on to the next. The next data type modifier is unsigned. Now unsigned is similar to sign as it does not change the size of the variable but it changes the range of the variable. Let's say I have to find out square of any number and I'll take that number as an input. So we know square of any number is positive. Square of 5 is 25 and square of minus 5 is also 25. So if I use signed integer here then the range of it will be minus 2 raised to 31 to 2 raised to 31 minus 1 but the range from minus 2 raised to 31 to minus 1 will not be useful because square of any number will not be negative considering real numbers not complex numbers now if i write unsigned int square is equal to 0 this square variable will have range from 0 to 2 raised to 32 minus 1 so as you can see this 2 raised to 32 minus 1 it is almost doubled from those of signed integers which means the positive limit has changed from 2 raised to 31 minus 1 to 2 raised to 32 minus 1 but the size of the variable remains same which is 4 bytes for integer if i write unsigned in front of it now both this unsigned and signed data type modifiers does not change the size of the variable but it only changes the range. Signed is optional but unsigned is compulsory if you have to make a variable unsigned. Now we will see what change signed and unsigned keyword makes to a variable so that the range of the variable changes. We know integer has 4 bytes, 4 bytes which is equal to 32 bits. So 32 bits are needed to store an integer value. Integer value is stored in these bits in binary format. Let's say I have a number, let's say 5 and the 5 number is stored here as 0 or uh, let's say 1. 0 and 1 this is 4 plus 0 plus 1 which is 5 because this is 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 so 2 square is 4 which is 1 plus 2 raised to 0 is 1 so 4 plus 1 5 so in this manner integer is stored now the integer is stored up to this second last bit which is the 30th bit the 31st bit is used for distinguisher which means if the 31st bit is 1 we know the integer value is negative and when this bit is 0 the integer value is positive when we store minus 5 into it the value will be 1 1 and the last bit will be 1 if we store positive 5 this value will be 0 and this will be 1 0 1 
so when we do not use any data type modifier we know automatically it is by default signed so signed changes this last bit to 0 or 1 depending on whether the number is positive or negative but if we write unsigned what change it makes is it removes this bit as a distinguisher and it allows the value of the integer to store from 0 to 31st bit so that this bit which is the last bit will not act as a distinguisher but it will act to store the value of the integer up to this range so for that our range changes from 0 to 2 raised to 32 minus 1 so thus using signed and unsigned we can change the range of an integer now let's move on to the next data type modifiers in which the size of the variable will be changed the next data type modifier is short now using this data type modifier we can change the size of the variable so for example when short is used with int it changes the size of the int to 2 bytes we know size of the int is 4 bytes or 8 bytes depending on the OS whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit but using short int it changes all to 2 bytes whether the int had earlier 4 bytes or 8 bytes it will always change to 2 bytes when we write short in front of it so short I'll write here short int will have always 2 bytes the last data type modifier is long we know short changes the size of integer to half of it which is from 4 bytes to 2 bytes but when long is used in front of int it changes it keeps the size constant which is 4 bytes for the size of the integer to change to double which is 8 bytes we have to use long long so long long int will have 8 bytes we can write long long int or we can simply write long long so using long we cannot change the size of the integer for that we have to use long long in front of the integer when it is declared so we'll mix all these data type modifiers and we will see what changes to the variable now I have cross combined the data type modifiers so you can see when we use sign short in front of any variable the size is 2 bytes and the range is from minus 2 raised to 50, 15 to 2 raised to 15 minus use minus 1 so if we use unsigned short the size will remain same because it is the short so 2 bytes and the range will now change from 0 to 2 raised to 16 minus 1 now similarly for long if it is signed long the size will be 4 bytes even if it is unsigned the size will be 4 bytes but for signed long the range will be from minus 2 raised to 31 to 2 raised to 31 minus 1 but for unsigned long it will be having range 0 to 2 raised to 32 minus 1 so as per our need we can write this data type modifiers in front of our variables to modify them or to change their properties or behaviors thank you